How's it going everybody? You got Bison here back with another MLS Team of the Season player review. This time it is of Team of the Season Nick Ramondo, the 5'10 goalie for Real Salt Lake. I wanted to try him out and see if he is worth the big price tag that comes along with him. It's the first silver goalie I have done. And guys, make sure to remember to follow me on Twitter at BisonYT. So here we go, this review is underway. This is one of the more complicated reviews I have done because this goalie was very inconsistent for me. For the first two games, he was amazing. You see this great reaction save he makes in the beginning. And he had some great reflexes for the first couple games, made some great saves. But in the last two games, you could really tell how bad his negatives were. He's 5'10", so he is a very, very short goalie, one of the shortest I have done. Against long shots, he struggles a lot and a lot of shots can curve over him, they can go in and he really has to dive really high for saves that a normal goalie would be able to make. His diving stat itself is actually pretty good, it's an 83 but in game it felt a lot better, it really felt like this guy could soar in net, fly across the net, however he is really small and maybe that's why it seems like he could fly better. He's a fast goalie, he can come out of net very very quickly, pretty speedy, not the fastest I've ever reviewed, but he is pretty quick. You see this great reaction save he makes from close shots. His reactions were best from shots that are very very close on one-on-one -on -one opportunities. However, however, on shots outside the box and shots a little bit further out, his reactions would be very very late. Against long shots he struggled the most, on crosses he also struggled the most. You see headers, High shots he would really struggle against because he is that short. On corners, I would recommend bringing him out of net and hoping that he will punch the ball out because he did have some good goalkeeper punches. However, if you leave him in net, a lot of shots are going to go over his head. You see I'm just talking about with this long shot here. Yes, Cavani did have good curve on the shot, but look how late he reacted to it. His positioning is generally good, he takes good angles to the ball, but on long shots, he could extend his body out pretty far, but it would just take him so long to react. But you see how quick he is. He's really a quick goalie in how fast he can come out of net, which is why I recommend bringing him out of net most of the time, because he can get down pretty quickly and take up a decent amount of space in net. But if you leave him in net in shots from outside the box or just around the box, he really struggles against. And you see here, this is a high shot that an average sized goalie wouldn't have to hit out of bounds, he would have just had to deflect it back into play and a corner is resulted because of, uh, because of how short he really is. Generally with this card, I don't think it's worth the money. 300k right now, I think he's gonna go down a little bit. For a silver goalie, he had some great positives but he's just too short. It's always a story with Nick Romano and FIFA. No matter how good this guy's stats are, he's always going to be 5'10 and for that reason, he is a very, very flawed card. Like I said one more time, reactions on close shots are pretty good. Good on one-on-one -on -one opportunities, a quick goalie. His positioning is all ready, takes good angles to the ball. But his reactions can be very, very late at times. He's way too short. A lot of long shots can go in, go in on him. And his reactions are very, very inconsistent. You see one more time, this great shot. However, he doesn't even die for it. He has to go back and the ball's over his head. Unfortunately for Team of the Season Nick Romando, I wouldn't recommend him to you guys. However, if you really want to try him out, I say go for it because FIBA 15 is coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. One more look at the recap. The final rating for this card is going to be a 7.5 out of 10. Once again, I do not recommend this card, mostly because of how short he is and is how inconsistent he is as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.